figure in, man. That's awesome. So tank boat phase one is officially a success. On a not steep boat ramp, it can drive into the water, turn around and drive back out of the water. That was a huge accomplishment, I think. Yes, I think so too. And it's actually kind of quick. It's too fast, actually. The gear ratio is not quite right. It, right now, it is geared for probably 35. Not nah, more than that, dude. Maybe more. So with that being said, it is time to initiate phase two of tank boat, which is to take these big old tractor tires, turn them into tank tracks, run a second axle through tank boat, and uh, go for a ride and see what happens. We might have better propulsion in the water. It's gonna have more traction period, so maybe for off-roading it would be a little better. Uh, we're gonna gain a little bit of ground clearance, but this is also gonna create some challenges. We've been having problems with it smoking the belt already. Basically by making taller tires, which is what it's gonna do, it's, it's gonna act like a taller tire on here. Um, it's gonna be like putting a smaller axle sprocket on it. So it's potentially gonna raise the top speed even more. So we're just gonna have more problems with smoking the belt. The other big challenge is of course, actually installing it and making it work. So let's get into it. So we are gonna kind of narrow up the tracks a lot narrower than I wanted, which will help keep from putting too much strain on our engine, torque converter and axle. Uh, it's my fault. We have too tall of a gear ratio. I didn't think about that. And that's our biggest problem. You ready? Oh yeah. Cutting. So we have these uh, wheels with no tires on them. These are gonna be at the back of the boat and at the front of the boat to help keep the tank tracks in line. See what you do is you cut the center of the tire out just wide enough where it'll sit in the grooves of this rim and that should keep it from walking off here goes nothing we cut about six inches out of the center of the first tractor tire and the plan from there was to weld bolts onto the ends of two pieces of pipe to act as tensioners and guides for the tank tracks. The tracks are more narrow than what we originally wanted, but between the extra strain on the torque converter, the flimsy axle, and not having wide enough wheels to mount them on, it was our only choice. Okay, that's it. Looks like a tank to me, bro. Am I gonna bust my butt? Oh man. For once we needed wheels with tires off of the rim, so we sacrificed the front wheels from the Yerf Dog to use as guides for tracks. Hey! Look at that. That was maybe three or four minutes. Yeah. 
Not bad. That's that's a record for me. Good. So, dude, the tires are off the wheels. What are you up to? Well, I'm uh, figuring out how to link up the axles. Uh, since we don't have a frame on on this tank boat, like an exoskeleton frame, we have no way of connecting the uh, two axles and hold them in place. So I figured I'd uh, run this pillow block on this front axle, and then I run some angle iron, which is down there on the ground, run angle iron from this pillow block to this axle, and we weld it up solid. And then we link this one to the back one welded up. So here's the deal with the tank tracks. We're gonna have two wheels down here, and that's like the surface area that the track is gonna be touching the ground. And yeah, no, we know it looks like a piece of spaghetti. We were hoping it would be a lot wider than that, but we were limited in what we had with wheels. Um, another issue is that if we had really, really wide tracks on here, we would uh, just really overwork the torque converter and overwork the engine. Uh, and it would be, well, we, and we could have geared it too, but there's just, there are a lot of unanswered questions you guys probably have, but we probably spent like four hours maybe today, just like kicking stuff around. And we figured that this was the best way we could do it. If you've been watching the channel for a while, you ought to know that we work with what we have. We have awesome support from Go Power Sports with a lot of their parts, but uh, the other things we just kind of cobble together and it's mainly what someone like you would have just hanging around or available in your close vicinity for cheap. And plus we just kind of wanted to throw this together to see if, if tank boat could happen. This isn't something that we're gonna sink a lot of money into because it's, it's ridiculous. It's a dinghy with tank tracks on it. Get on there. There we go. Go down on your side a tiny bit. That's it. All right, cover. Yep. So we should do this front one along the top, right? Because then once we do that, we can see how far our spaghetti paddles are gonna drape and then we're gonna know where we can put this rear axle. That's true. Another hole in the hole. Another hole in the hole. We got a good track record so far though. Do we? I mean, no leaks, bro. If this whole thing goes down in a ball of flames, at least it didn't leak. It's done. We're going for it. So we just cut our other tread with a reciprocating saw. Hey man. What's up? You know how you have the Michelin man. Yep. What about Miss Michelin USA. <laughs> so, uh, only thing left is to get these on there and then we can do the rear, see where that rear axle is. We can see what this turd's gonna do. We drilled holes for that axle and we installed it and then we realized that there wouldn't be enough contact patch between the tread, or the, the tank track and the drive tire. Yeah. So we're just saying, forget about it. And we're just gonna use Jeez. three. It's probably not gonna work, but um, our failure will be y'all's entertainment. Entertainment slash learning. That's right. Whatever. <laughs> learning experience. Learning experience. That's what else. That's what it's it. Let's see if it'll roll backwards. Yeah. You'll be right. No, I just 
so we don't die. Got rid of those tracks in a hurry, man. Both of them. Yeah. Epic fail. Epic fail. First, we have to say thank you for 500,000 subscribers. Major milestone we just hit. We really appreciate it. When we regularly started making videos on this channel, I don't think either of us ever thought we would hit 500,000, so thank you very much for that. So, about Tank Boat. When the tracks fell off of it, we just kinda got frustrated and pushed it to the side. It's just, it's one of those instances where like, we just, it was a combination of like, a flawed design and not the proper parts yeah. And uh, and not the proper execution. We, we were trying to work with what we had. We had a free boat. Yep. Kaching, and and it all just went downhill from there. Yes. <laughs> we should have picked a flat bottom, flat sided, John boat. Yep. Uh, that would have been perfect. Uh, we would have been able to elevate the uh, boat high enough to get good ground clearance, and we would have had flat sides to bolt the bearings. And then we would have had nice straight sides for tracks and plenty of places to put wheels. So it was a flawed design from the get-go. Yep. All because it was free. Yes. And John boats ain't cheap. That's correct. I've been I've been looking around. I they've been five hundred five hundred ish dollars. I found cheaper ones, but they were long, big ones. Oh yeah, now all the short, it's little, weird. dinky ones yeah. that I wanted were like high dollar. Hmm. So it is what it is. Um, things I would have done different. Well, for one, we would have had some parts ahead of time, some better wheels, wider ones, for wider, wider ones tracks. for wider tracks. Would have built a subframe in it. Would have built a frame inside of it. Heavier duty torque converter. Definitely heavy duty torque converter. Probably a 420. Uh, maybe twin engine. Yeah. Uh, Less aggressive gearing. No. And this is just this is just a another notch in the belt, buddy. A new learning experience That's of what right. not to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's a good it'll point. Be, it'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah, that's so, right. So y'all giving hate on us failing on this, we're not perfect. No. We never claim to be perfect. No. We're just two guys playing in a garage. Pretty much. That's it. Yeah. And, and it's failure's a part of it. Yep. So please, no hate. Uh, I'm sure we're going to do another one. With a flat bottom boat. With a flat bottom. Once we come across one that's cheap enough for us. Yeah. So uh, it is what it is. We are probably going to revisit the Amphibious Go-Kart series next summer. But next week we have an old friend for you guys that you've been asking for for a long time. Can you guess what it is? Yeah. And let me tell you, like, it is epic. Scary. Yeah. <laughs> In the best way possible. Really? I had to clean out my pants when I got home. <laughs> From the mud, right? It's a type of mud, yes. <laughs> Again, thank you for 500,000 subscribers, guys. And if you want to help us keep growing, like our videos, share them, check out our merchandise at cars-cameras.com and use our discount code CC10 at GoPowerSports. All those things help support us and you can get some awesome products as well. Anyway, we will see you next week for revisiting an old project in the best way possible. You're going to love it. Yeah.